We have huge iPhone news for you today. Say it with us. 10. This is iPhone 10. Not X. It is the biggest leap forward since the original iPhone. It's a 5.8 inch phone with a practically bezel-less, super high-res OLED screen, a stainless steel edge-wrapping case, wireless charging, and a bunch of new cameras. Still no headphone jack, obviously, but hopefully you weren't too attached to the home button because now that's gone too. Your iPhone is locked until you look at it and it recognizes you. Say goodbye to Touch ID, say hello to Face ID. Face ID learns your face. Even if you change your hairstyle, you decide to put on glasses, you're wearing a hat, or you do it up any way you do it, Face ID learns your face. Thanks to a bunch of sensors and cameras and that little notch at the top of the screen, unlocking your phone is now as simple as looking at it. Those sensors also track your face's position in real time, which means nuttier snaps, incredible metallic reflections, the quality of the tracking, it's, it's just stunning. And thanks to a new feature called an emoji, mapping your facial expressions to chickens, <laughs> unicorns, <laughs> and piles of poop. Welcome to the future, everybody. Making all of this possible is Apple's new A11 Bionic chip, which runs facial recognition right from your phone. Pre-orders start October 27th, with the 64 gig model starting at $999. iPhone 10 will ship on November 3rd. If a $1,000 phone sounds too expensive, or you just don't want Apple tracking your face, there's the redesigned iPhone 8. iPhone 8 iPhone 8. This is a huge step forward for iPhone. Like the iPhone 10, it's got a true tone screen that adjusts the display for different lighting conditions, a glass back for wireless charging, and an A11 chip. Better cameras, motion sensors, and graphics let the phone render augmented reality environments in real time. And the iPhone 8 Plus and the iPhone 10 will both get a new feature called portrait lighting later this year. And then using machine learning, it creates facial landmarks and actually changes the lighting of the contours over your face. The iPhone 8 comes in silver, space gray, and a new gold finish and starts at $699 for the 8 and $799 for the 8 Plus. Pre-orders start September 15th with the phones hitting stores a week later. Introducing Apple Watch Series 3 and it has cellular built in. Also coming this month is Apple Watch Series 3. It now comes with LTE connectivity built in so you can field phone calls, access maps, talk to Siri, and stream music to your wrist all without a phone. Inside is a new dual core processor delivering up to 70% more, more performance. It's really, really fast. And a built-in altimeter now lets you track elevation change on runs and hikes. All that new tech lives in a case just a fraction of a millimeter thicker than the previous version. What else? All the LTE-enabled watches will come with a red accent on the crown. The fancy ceramic model now comes in gray, but the rose gold aluminum model is no more. Oh, and keep an eye out for a bunch of new bands, including pricey options from Hermes and a less expensive fabric band that Apple calls the Sport Loop. The new watches start at 329 without LTE, 399 with LTE, and go up from there. Pre-orders start September 15th, with shipments beginning a week later. And finally, Apple Today announced a brand new version of Apple TV. Apple TV 4K. It looks a lot like the old set-top box, only now it supports 4K and HDR content, and a lot more of it. With live sports and news and movies and TV from partners like Netflix and Amazon. Oh, and if you already bought an HD movie on iTunes, Apple says it'll upgrade it to 4K HDR for free. The whole package runs on an A10X Fusion chip, same as the one you'll find in the iPad Pro. And the new Apple TV isn't just slightly faster, it's remarkably faster. And you can order the Apple TV 4K starting at 179 for the 32 gig model beginning September 15th, or grab one in stores starting on the 22nd. That is the new Apple TV 4K. Thank you.